Hey guys, Mars Engin here, bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. And so now is the time. It's finally time to see for ourselves firsthand just how bad physical Dokkan Fest Raditz actually is. 55%. Those of you who watched my uh, summon video or were there at the stream earlier know that I did actually get really lucky. I swear I always just get lucky on the banners that I really don't care about. But I wanted to do the 55% showcase and then I do actually have two dupes that I can feed in in order to uh, then start taking him into some of the more difficult content. Um... So I gave him a three dodge silver skill orb basically because I don't really have any good silver skill orbs and I give all my units three dodge anyway. So now this way when I feed the two dupes in I just don't have to give him any dodge in the actual hidden potential tree and he's still going to have level three dodge. So that means he does have it for the 55% showcase. I gave him a defensive uh, bronze equip as well. I have taking him on a couple of runs on the link level stage. So as you can see, a couple of threes, a couple of twos, same warrior races at five. And uh, yeah, we're going to see what this man can do. So we're running double 55% physical Raditz. He leads Saiyan Saga or pure Saiyans for three key 170, additional 30% for space traveling warriors. I am using just like a full pure Saiyans build pretty much, although a lot of them are Saiyan Saga units. Uh, most of the main rotation units are all getting the 200% leader skill. And uh, he gets attack and defense 150. He gets additional attack and defense 50% when performing a super if there's only one enemy and they're at 50% or less HP. Uh, he also gets an additional attack 100% and a high chance to crit. Uh, performs a guaranteed crit within the same turn after receiving an attack. As well as an additional 150% defense when facing two or more enemies. And he gets key plus two for the rest of the battle when delivering a finishing blow. Uh, he does have an active skill. Uh, the condition is that when facing only one enemy uh, after the character receives an attack three or more times. So, of course, in typical fashion, when we went into this event, I bought Great Ape Raditz for him to uh, link up with. And he transformed immediately on turn one. Um, so at least we are going to get to see our boy take a hit here. In fact, if he manages to get a crit, he might not even need to crit to be fair because Hercule is pretty weak. Um, if he finishes him off here, it means we get that finishing blow straight away and we get that extra two key, which is going to be very helpful. So, four million attack without support is not bad. This is, of course, Hercule has under 50% HP, so that's him getting the buff. Now, the thing about Raditz is I would kind of expect that kind of attack stat from a new Dokkan Fest exclusive, like, every turn. Not just because the enemy was below 50% HP, but... It is what it is. So uh, I bought this Zeno Goku because obviously he is a Goku family uh, support unit. So we'll keep him here. So 40% extra support for Raditz. Uh, he's only got two links active with this Goku. He's at 132k defense at the start of the turn. So defense not particularly great. Obviously when the enemy is on low HP and he attacks, he gets that extra buff to both attack and defense. And he does raise attack and defense on super attack as well. So, obviously, post super attack, he's going to be a lot better defensively. But, see how much damage he takes from this. Okay, double digits from that. We are only in the second phase. So, after supering, that is kind of what I would expect, right, for him to not take that much damage. Um, Xeno Goku going to get the double super here. Because that's the good thing about Raditz having pure Saiyans as one of his leader skills. Is, uh, we have units like this Xeno Goku. Providing support to Goku family, bring him on the team, give that support to Raditz. I'm not using Nappa. I did manage to pull one copy. I basically summoned until I pulled a copy of Nappa, which took me, what, 350 stones after the discount? So, all in all, I did 450 stones on this banner, which I think I'm pretty happy with overall. Um, I still think most people should skip it, of course, but... I brought Tora. He does actually get the 200% lead, but he's a support unit, so he's going to be giving some support to Raditz. We've got five links active, 131k before supering, and he does greatly raise attack and defense on his super attack. It does supreme damage to all enemies. So if we do this, there's no way Great 8 Raditz kills him, but can he do enough damage to drop him below 50%? Maybe if we crit? Uh, oh, okay, well, if we double super. Because that's the saving grace for physical Raditz, is that below 50% can activate mid-turn. So now we're at 4.6. So you can kind of see, when the enemy is below 50% HP, then his attack stat's definitely not that bad. Because obviously, remember, he is a 55% unit. 
He greatly raises on super. So post super attack, he's going to be close to 200k. So again, nothing too crazy, but not bad for 55%. Um, and then obviously the other Goku is going to have the... Uh, we do have the active skill. I think we can save it, right? Because we only have to get hit a certain number of times in order to use it. So might as well save it for now. Um, grab these, grab these, and then grab these. So, uh, I bought, I ended up bringing the Nappa and Vegeta and the Great Ape Vegeta because I figured they would make a good rotation together, but I've kind of just been keeping both the 55% Raditz units on rotation so we can see them attack more. I probably should change that though. Okay, now we're going to get another, another Great Ape Raditz transformation. Perfect. All right, well, I want this to, oh, God, and of course we get it against the AGL Goku as well, so... I'm just going to grab these orbs so we can get our attacks out of the way as quickly as possible. We're obviously just going to do normal attacks, so it takes less time. Maybe we can get lucky and only get the one turn. Since he transformed already, this should at least be the last time that he transforms during the video. So at least we don't have to worry about it happening again. Always funny when a giant ape gets a level 3 dodge. So we take zero damage when we would have taken zero damage anyway. <laughs> Alright, so we just keep grabbing all these uh, one key. Just fire off these normal attacks. Get the Great Ape turn over with as quickly as possible. It is funny to see, of course, like without links and stuff like that. If we were actually taking damage, even these normal attacks are doing 100k. But, obviously, because the, uh, the Great Apes never take... Oh, come on. The Great Apes never take damage, so they don't need to have, like, proper stats and everything, so... Look how much damage we've done as well with our uh, six normal attacks so far. Tiny, tiny sliver of his health bar has been uh, carved out. So, at least we can finally be over with this now, right? And we never have to see Great Ape Raditz transform again. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and put our boy in slot one. Uh, grab these. Get these for you. Raditz, the Great Eight Raditz is actually pretty solid. Like when you get the um, when you get a decent amount of orbs with him, and the fact that he also greatly raises defense on super, he's pretty good post super attack. But there you see the major downside. So no support. We're only hitting 2.5 million on an enemy whose HP is above 50%. And then obviously post super because of the defense raise, we jump up to only taking double digit damage, which is what we want. Um, yeah, I was going to say, you should take double digit damage unless you get supered. And now that we have a Goku enemy, uh, Great Ape Vegeta's, uh, we didn't obviously see it because I've got him set to skip. Um, but his entrance animation would have played on this turn. So now he has his uh, buff as well. So let us... Uh, let's float off Xeno Goku. I want to start getting the other rotation be set up as the one for uh, Great Ape Vegeta and... Um, LR Nappa and Vegeta. So I'm going to float off Goku so he can give some support. We'll obviously keep my one as the main one. And then, yeah, 4.2. That's with two support units, a couple of links active. So, I mean, he's not like completely terrible, like unusable, but like the attack stat that we're seeing, that's what I would consider not bad for a 55% unit, but all the time. And he's only hitting those attack stats when the enemy is below. 55% uh, below 50% HP which is unfortunate so let's go ahead and actually use the active skill so it greatly raises attack temporarily does ultimate damage and is a guaranteed stun uh, obviously we can't stun this uh, Gohan can we no I saw the seal come up at the end but not the stun one so let's go ahead and uh, use our boys active skill we don't get any extra links active from you so let's go ahead and see Oh, of course I had it set to skip. All right, well, we'll do the other one in the video, and I'll make sure. In fact, let me turn it off now so I don't forget. <laughs> and we'll do the other Raditz's one um, once we get him on rotation. So do this, do this, and then, yeah, we'll keep the other rotation. Uh, we'll use Great Ape Vegeta and Nappa and Vegeta together. So all right damage, I guess, from the active skill. We did a bar of HP. But, of course, not enough to drop him below 50%. So, 
the very pitiful two and a half million attack stat. Now, he does have an AoE, which is the whole reason why I'm doing this initial showcase on the Cell Games Super uh, uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History stage, because obviously we're going to get to the Cell Juniors phase in a moment and have uh, multiple enemies to attack. So then, of course, we will actually uh, see how much damage he can do against multiple enemies, which I'm very much looking forward to. Plus, if he's getting hit in slot one, hopefully there are going to be some attacks then uh, we will be able to see... Um, well, they only share Saiyan Warrior Race. And that is crazy. When you think about the fact that, like, the whole point of this Raditz, pretty much, is that, like, he's the Saiyan Saga category leader, and he doesn't even link up well with uh, the Great Ape Vegeta. That is honestly kind of crazy. Um, I wonder about this team's, like, synergy. I will do a proper video of, like, the full-on Saiyan Saga team, but... Like, units like Goku and Piccolo, they're not going to link up well with this Raditz or, like, Great Eight Vegeta. So, it be interesting to see what that team is actually going to look like um, when we get it put together. Because, uh, you know, it could have potential. Um, I do love the KO screen for Great Eight Vegeta. Would have been cool to get dupes for him, but I do only have him at 55%. This is a good rotation, actually, for uh, our boy. Although, we're going to get the Dokkan attack, which kind of ruins the point of the fact that he's getting an AoE. Maybe if I get no same type orbs, I can avoid the uh, Dokkan attack. So, Raditz is going to have 200k defense at the start of the turn. Let's double check the multiple enemies thing here. So, 100% uh, attack and high chance of performing a critical hit. He gets a guaranteed crit after if he receives an attack, as well as 150 extra defense when facing two or more enemies. So, let us not get any same type orbs here. Um... I don't know if that will still allow me to avoid the Dokkan attack, but... Yes, perfect. Okay. So, we take the hit, and now we should get a guaranteed crit, right? By the my understanding of his passive... 1.89. That's so bad. Even though it's an AoE, that's so low. How much does this do? Yeah, so he's doing like 1.5 to 1 point to like nearly 2 on the crits. And he did hit everybody, which is nice. We could have got the, we got the free level 5 additional. It would have been nice if it was a super. And then we actually would have potentially cleared most of the field. But, man, that turn just feels so disappointing. Like, if they gimped this unit slightly just solely for the fact that he's an AoE. Like, his actual AoE attack should be much more, like, powerful than that, right? Like... That feels very underwhelming. Um, so in in uh, comparison to that, let's go ahead and put Great Ape Vegeta in slot one. And uh, oh, he's going to get the Dokkan attack anyway, so I guess it doesn't really... Uh, it's not exactly the most fair comparison. We managed to just about avoid the Dokkan attack last time. But Great Ape Vegeta, as we all know, if we get hit in slot one first, is going to do a lot of extra damage. He does guard, so he's just going to eat these uh, super attacks. No support. Time to get uh, what is his attack stat in the bottom there? I don't need to hit the nodes. Yeah, 7 million. So, pretty good. Let's go. Yeah, we don't need to hit any of the nodes to uh, finish off the last of the Cell Juniors here. Alright, so. Is this the Raditz that hasn't done the active skill yet? No. And, of course, he's going to lock Tora in slot one. But I came prepared for that, so no, you don't. Um... All right, so if we grab this, then we can get a pretty decent amount of orbs for you. And then I'm a little bit worried about Tora. What's his defense? 172. It's going to be 200k after he supers. Uh, as long as he doesn't get supered, I think we should be all right. Even if he gets super, does he, yeah, he doesn't take like 600k, surely. But yeah, Raditz, look at that. With the support, 2.7. Definitely not um, what you want to see out of like... Imagine being someone who's new to the game and you haven't seen all of the discourse about like how bad Raditz is. You know, the video I made telling people not to summon, all this other kind of stuff. Imagine if you haven't seen any of that and you actually summon and you pull Raditz and then you take him into an event to test him out. That's like, oh, like two and a half million is what he's doing, basically. Now, I guess for a newer player in perspective, you might not realize how bad that is, but... Yeah, like, once you're once the enemy is below 50% HP, I'm actually not that, like, 
disappointed with his numbers for a 55% unit. But the problem is just the fact that the enemy has to be below 50% HP for him to be hitting those numbers. And as a new Dokkan Fest exclusive released in like this year, he should be hitting harder than that, like in general, all the time. So pop the active skill for Nappa and Vegeta so that Nappa doesn't have to take any hits because obviously he's not really... Uh, not the best unit. Good link partner for Great Ape Vegeta, but definitely not a great unit for uh, surviving difficult content like on his own merits. So we use his active skill, get the guaranteed dodges for the turn. Um, was that Ape? Was that? that one? There's no way. Oh, no, he gets an attack nerf, doesn't he? On the turn where he used the active skill. I was going to say, no way was he hitting 8 million, but no, that was uh, 800,000. <laughs> But we get the guaranteed dodges perfectly timed as well because Cell tried to super attack him. So we do like that. Is this below 50% HP? It should be, right, for uh, our boy. Although, actually, we should get the other active skill off here, right? Yeah, perfect. So now we can actually see Raditz's active skill. So let's use this. That all, huh? Is it my turn now? Time to show you what real power looks like. Man, that looks clean. I uh, I can't complain about his animations. Like, I think that looks sick. Um, are you kidding me? <laughs> he can't get enough key to super attack in slot one. Amazing. Um, all right. Well, I guess uh, we'll do. Hmm. We'll do this. Do this. <laughs> so at least my Raditz should be able to finish him off, right? Um. We shouldn't take too much damage throughout the turn here, so I'm just going to do this. Very disappointing from uh, <laughs> the friend Raditz. I guess the problem is he doesn't share a ton of key links with the Great Ape Raditz, but they share a decent amount of attack. I think they only share like one key link, because I don't think that Great Ape Raditz... He might not have prepared for battle, because um, I'm pretty sure they only share one one key link. Although that link might go up to two key at level 10. I actually can't even remember which one it is, but... I figured we'd put them together, Raditz and Raditz, you know. Ooh, 277. And then there you go, 4 million. So 4 million is 55% Raditz unsupported when the enemy is below 50% HP. Which, as I've said multiple times, I think that's not terrible for a 55% unit. But it's only when he's getting... He's only doing that when the enemy's below 50% HP. Which, it's just not good enough. Right, like, think about 55% Cell, 55% Goku and Gohan, 55% Captain Ginyu. Like, yeah, this guy just looks like an absolute loser in comparison to those uh, units, which is very unfortunate. So, all right, so let's see. Uh, we can get the full 24 key for you. This should be a pretty good turn. Um, in fact, you know what? Just for the uh, sheer hell of it, I'm going to do this. Let's get the massive attack boosts. Because with all the support and everything, we should hopefully be able to get Gohan below 50% HP for Raditz on the next turn. 8.8 .8 million for Great Ape Vegeta. And that was without him getting hit first. So that could have potentially been, you know, well, I say potentially. That would have been way higher. Now we just need this Vegeta to not get super attacked. <laughs> 5.4 million for him. I mean, mine's only 55% and he's full level 10 link. So it's not terrible. But of course he gets super. He might actually, unironically, he might die to this. Ooh, it's close. Okay, yeah, the normal attacks don't do enough damage, so we will be fine. Ooh, that was uh, <laughs> a bit spicy. Of course he super attacked him, right? Like, Great 8 Vegeta would have been able to tank that reasonably well. Um, so let's heal up here. We won't use any extra item. We do have the attack boost still, of course, from the uh, future Bulma item. But we'll go ahead and do this. He's below 50% HP, so what is Raditz going to get here with the extra little bit of support from the future Bulma item? He's taking almost 40k before he supers, though, which is not ideal. With support, 5.6. I mean, that's the thing, right? We've seen Cell at 55% hit, like, way higher than that with no support and no item active. So, let me know what you guys think of Raditz now that you've seen him in action at 55%. Is he better than you thought? Is he worse than you thought? Um... Like I say, when he's when the enemy's below 50% HP, I don't think his attack stats are that bad. It's just the fact that they're obviously not always going to be, especially in some of the harder content. 
And then, yeah, of course, great eight rabbits get skilled. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.